Hi, I'm Steve Wang, and welcome to my shop. We make a lot of really fun stuff here, and I want to show you what we're doing. So come on in. So what you're seeing here is this is a new project that we're doing for Blizzard. Uh, in the end of May, there's going to be a launch for the new game called Overwatch. And uh, it's their, their first person multiplayer action shooter. And so what we're doing for them is we're making three giant action figures. One of Tracer, one of uh, Genji, and Farah. And uh, what you're seeing here, these are parts. Um, and what we've done is we've taken the files of the characters and we've added joints in here so they look like giant action figures and uh, they're gonna each be 12 feet tall and they're gonna be in giant toy boxes that we're also designing. And um, so it's gonna be a big international launch. It's kind of a big deal um, for us especially um, because you know we're making some really high profile uh, pieces that are gonna be seen in the, by the world. So this here is the helm of Arthas. This, is, uh, this was sculpted for the bronze statue. And what we're doing is we're actually making a, an actual helmet display. And this was all sculpted in clay. We had a ton of references uh, from Blizzard and we scaled it up. And then uh, one thing that I do for Blizzard that um, is kind of fun is that they always ask me to put my spin on their, their designs so that we're able to take what they, they give us, their designs, and we kind of add a little touches to it that kind of makes it our own, so to speak. So it's a nice collaboration and that uh, we're very honored that they always ask us to do that. This here is the Lycan. Um, this is, I have a company called Elite Creature Collectibles. And what we do is we make uh, licensed one-third scale maquettes, and we also do life-size busts of just creature characters from movies. And some of the stuff that we've done is Underworld, we've done the Blade franchise. Uh, currently, we've uh, done the Avengers 2, which is the Hulk character. Um, and so we have a whole bunch of new licenses we're working on, as well as some original stuff that we're going to be doing that's uh, stuff that I'm designing. So here you're seeing, here is a Lycan, and um, this is a one-third scale. This one will be coming out uh, in June of, of 2016. Um, and it's very exciting to see that it's very high quality. This is actually a prototype. We're still working on the hair on this, but um, it's very meticulously designed and sculpted and cast, and it has translucent teeth and claws and stuff like that. So we're doing a lot of things that are kind of new for a collectible market because um, just use, using real hair on, on maquettes is something that's very new. So we're kind of trying to go the next step and, and you know, do something really special. This is our display slash conference room. And here's where we display a bunch of stuff that we've done. Um, what you see here mostly is gonna be the collectibles that we've done for the, the, my company. Uh, because a lot of the big statues that we do don't end up living here. We, we make them and then we create them up and we ship them out to the, the game companies and they hold those. This one here is the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon and this was for Cinema Cat actually. Um, this is one of my favorite monsters of all time. So um, when I got to do this character, it was kind of a dream come true. I spent a lot of time on this just to get the likeness as close as possible and bring this guy to life. I was actually I don't get very nervous about sculpting anything. This is actually one of the only sculptures I've ever done where I got really nervous because I was afraid I was gonna screw up and not capture the likeness. But I think it, I think it looks pretty good. I'm uh, very happy with it. Uh, this was an Iron Man that we made for Cinema Cat. And um, we prototyped this thing and uh, it lights up. There's some cool thing, but the coolest thing about this is that we were able to engineer a mask that actually can open. And then you can see a I'll take this one. You can see a silicone face of Robert Downey Jr. inside. And, it's, and then the most amazing part is the punched beard. It's all real hair punched one at a time at this scale, which is extremely difficult. So this was mass produced uh, in China. And then this is uh, the Hulk that we did for Elite Creature Collectibles. This one is just, it's just shipping right now. Um, and it's doing really well. We're actually was, uh, when I was first approached about doing this character, I thought, who cares about a big muscle green guy? Like, who, who's gonna buy this? Um, boy, was I shocked. This was one of our best sellers. 
and it's a very expensive piece too. Um, but a lot of care was take, taken into this. A, the scale of it is pretty immense for one third because he's nine feet tall, so the, he's actually six, uh, three feet tall here. The costume we, we had uh, designed this costume based on based on the pants from the movie. So all the graphics and all the stuff, the material we had to prototype all that stuff, and we also threw in a, a broken Ultron in there for good measure to complete the diorama. He has light up eyes and head, and he's all flickering like a control. It's a really fun piece. Here we are at our bronze in San Fernando, and we're gonna go inside right now and check out the Arthas Lich King bronze that we're making for Blizzard Entertainment. So come on, follow me. Hey, hey Ian, how are you? Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, so where are we at now? Well, I'm ready to show you the, okay. the metal. Material sword of justice. I am the earth. Hey everyone, if you like what you saw today, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't miss out on the extras from this episode. Thanks for watching.